everybody, Paul Lindsay here one more time from Steel City, where as you can see, the sun has finally gone down. It was crazy hot once again. I'm exhausted. Everybody commented on the heat. Track was brutal. Lots of great racing as usual. Dean Wilson, congratulations. Wraps up the championship. Ryan Villapoto extends his point lead. But as always, great racing all the way through the pack. Let's have a look at who was under the radar this week. Okay, up first in the 250 class, Justin Bogle. You might say, hey, this guy isn't under the radar. Yeah, he ran second a long time in the first motor after a great debut at Unadilla and backed it up with a solid ride at, Un at Southwick. He ran as high as second, as I said. Faded to sixth in the first motor, still very solid. The reason I put him in here is he's looking very comfortable with that lead group. He's becoming part of the family up there in the top 10. 6'10 for seventh overall on the day for Bogle. Up next, Rockstar Suzuki, Ryan Morris. A lot of people consider him a Supercross specialist, always injured during the outdoors, but he's a lot better at outdoors than I think even he gives himself credit for. After last week, running 10th in the second moto Southwick before his bike let go, has a problem in the first moto here on the first lap, ironically 10th as well. DNF's first moto comes back, starts outside the top 20 in the second moto, comes all the way back to 12th. His third 12th place finish of the year, Ryan Morris looking to get something done at Pala. 16th over on the day for Ryan Morris. Up next, the debut ride for the 210 DNA Shred Stick Star Yamaha, Kyle Peters, coming straight from Loretta's, where he beat Justin Bogle in one of the classes. 16-24 for a 20th overall on the day for Kyle Peters. Not a bad ride. Ran inside the top 20 in both motos. Looks like he's comfortable up there with that lead pack. And last but not least, we've seen this guy a few times on the Under the Radar segment. He is the definition of under the radar all year. Martin Davalos, the number 23 rock star Suzuki, started just outside the top 20 in the first moto, fought all the way up to 11th. This guy never gets respect for charging through the pack. Second moto, gets a top 10 start, makes it work for him. 11-9 for ninth overall on the day, quietly having a very solid season in eighth place in points. Congratulations, Martin Davalos, my standout performance of the day. Okay, to start things out in the 450 class, Jake Weimer, or Jacob Weimer, as he's listed on the point sheet, 6'6 six, six for fifth overall on the day. Also the definition of hard on the radar. I know Jake wants to be up in that lead pack. He starts usually up in the top five and usually stays there. Trust me, folks, when Supercross starts, you will see Jake Weimer running more consistently up in the top five. He now quietly sits sixth in points after starting the season out a little bit further back. Only 21 points behind Michael Lessie for fifth with the idol. Davey Millsaps, Andrew Short, and Kevin Windham moving up a few notches in the overall point standings. Congratulations, Jake, for a great ride today in fifth. Up next... 27 Yamaha, Nick Way, also a guy that seems to be under the radar, starts just outside the top 20 in the first moto, charges all the way to 11th on a hot, dry, rough track. Great ride for the veteran. Backs it up with a 10th place in the second moto, 11-10 for Nick Way on the day, ninth overall for the veteran Yamaha rider. And speaking of veterans, the Australian Michael Byrne is up next. He also started from near last in the first moto, charged all the way up to 13th. Backed it up in the second moto with a better start. Gets ninth in the second moto, 13-9 on the day for 10th overall. These two, the reason I mention them both, both Wiley veterans, 10 points separate the two. And with a few riders out, they are both fighting for that last spot. Davey Millsap sits in 10th. They're only 10 points behind him. These two veterans are going to take it all the way down to Pala to duke it out for that 10th place spot in the final points. And last but not least, an amazing ride. My breakout performance of the day, Nico Izzy coming back off the bench, making his debut on the Valley Motorsports Yamaha 450. Qualifies an amazing fourth overall in practice. Starts the first moto on the ground, way back, dead last, charges all the way up to 15th at one point till three laps to go. Something went wrong, I didn't see it. Wound up 24th in that moto. Second moto capitalized on a good start, runs eighth. The majority of the moto had some real creative lines, got around Barsha at one point. Same thing, something happens with about four laps to go. He drops out and DNFs that moto, so folks, don't let the 24-30 for 30th overall fool you. Nico Izzy was on the gas today. Well, that's going to do it from here at Steel City. Don't adjust your sets. Yes, my hat is on inside out and backwards in this crazy world. Do something nice for somebody. Let's get back to basics. Put your hat on inside out and backwards to show it. I'm starting a new trend. Maybe it's just the heat. Maybe my brain melted today. I'm Paul Lindsay for Racer X Films. We'll see you next week at Pala where we'll wrap this thing up and call it a season.